When we first encounter our duck, she is drifting through the water at a speed of one meter per second. She is acting as a source of waves in the water that move outward from her in circular patterns. The speed at which the water waves move outward is three meters per second. This is determined by the depth of the lake at this point, not by anything the duck is doing. If a raindrop hits the water, waves would move outward at three meters per second as well. Because the duck is moving towards the boat, the boat sees the water waves bunched up and measures a higher frequency and lower wavelength. The product of wavelength and frequency, the wave speed, stays the same. This is known as the wave speed equation. As you can see, if the frequency of the wave seen by the boater is higher, the wavelength must be shorter so that the wave speed is the same. If instead, the boat moves away from the duck at the same speed as the duck, the effect goes away and the boater sees the same original frequency as produced by the duck. So the relative motion of the duck and boat must be important. If the duck exceeds the wave speed, a shock front is formed in the shape of a V. This is similar to what happens when a jet plane exceeds the speed of sound in air and a sonic boom is created. A shock front is a complicated phenomenon, worthy of future study, and is not easily described by a frequency or wavelength. How can you calculate the frequency of the wave seen by the boater based on the motion of the duck and the wave speed? We use the Doppler equation. In this equation, V sub zero refers to the velocity of the observer, in this case, the boater, and V sub s refers to the velocity of the wave source, in this case, the duck. V refers to the speed of the waves on the water, F is the frequency at which waves are created by the duck, and F prime is the frequency seen by the observer or boater. When the duck and boat move away from each other, the frequency measured by the boater is much lower and the wavelength is much higher. The same phenomenon occurs not just in water waves, but also in sound waves and light waves. Imagine a car passing by your location. At first, the car sounds higher pitched, higher frequency, as it comes toward you. And then it sounds lower pitched as it moves away from you. Astronomers look at slight shifts in the colors of the light waves from stars to see if they are moving toward or away from us and how fast. In this way, hundreds of planets orbiting other stars have been discovered.